Finland finally became a member of NATO in April last year, followed in March this year by its neighbour Sweden. Both countries had long been neutral, but Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine prompted them to rapidly change their stance. Finland has an 830-mile border with Russia and a long history of tension. Seven months on, the country's defence minister, Antti Hakkinen, has revealed that Mikkeli will be the site of a new NATO Northern European Land Command. This will consist of Finnish forces, together with a small contingent of officers from other NATO countries. They'll work in a staff headquarters, coordinating the defence of NATO's northern sector, including all the Nordic and Baltic states. Up to now, Finland and Sweden have been under the command of NATO's HQ at Brunsum in the Netherlands. Under the new structure, they transfer to Joint Force Command Norfolk, based in the US state of Virginia, the only NATO command in North America. Finland's also expected to soon announce a second new NATO base in the north of the country. This one will be home to a multinational Ford Land Force, or FLF. This, say reports, will be somewhere in Finnish Lapland and will accommodate NATO troops coming to Finland from other member states. Reports suggest it'll either be based in Rovaniemi or here in Sudankula, 77 miles from the Russian border. Sweden says it will take leadership of this multinational force, and both it and Norway could have troops stationed in Lapland, say reports. The Nordic region is vast, covering more territory than any other part of Europe. NATO member states here have a combined strength of 360,000 regular and reserve troops, along with 250 combat aircraft and 290 naval vessels. Some reports earlier this year suggested Finland could host a NATO armoured brigade of between four to 5,000 troops as a deterrent. So will British soldiers be deployed to either of these new bases? That question, we understand, is still under discussion. But with Finland and Sweden now full members of NATO, it's highly likely the UK military will be working more closely with both countries as NATO expands its response to the growing threat of Russia. Simon Newton, BFPS, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.